Hi guys, welcome back. Happy Father's Day to all you dads. Today is Sunday, June 21st, and we're going to make family trees for dad today. So in order to do this tutorial, you're gonna need some multimedia paper or canvas, it's up to you. Some different color acrylic paints, um, whether or not you wanna fill in your background or just leave it blank, that's gonna be your call. And then you're gonna want some paint brushes and some paper towel, and then if you have the little guys around, they can definitely help out when we get to the middle stage. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is paint a background if that's your choice. So I'm gonna put some blue for a sky, and I have this beautiful metallic color looking blue here that I really, really, really love. Okay. Give me some color. And you can smooth out your brush strokes. Right, beautiful. So once we're done that part, we can then go ahead to the next stage and we're going to use a black to paint a tree. Now the size that you make your tree is going to be totally up to you. First I'm just going to kind of outline a nice little tree some cute little branches going so many different ways. Okay, so now we have a beautiful tree, we have a base, we have our colors down. So the next step that we're going to do, this is where the little girls and guys come in, or if you have fur babies and you wanna use paw prints, or if you are um, parent soon to be with your first child and it's mom wanting to make dad a Father's Day gift, you can always use your fingers. Okay, so since I'm gonna should do this to show you guys, I'm gonna use my fingers. So I'm gonna take a couple of different colors here, dab those onto my fingers, and I'm gonna use my fingers to make beautiful little branch or leaves coming off of these branches. Now, little hands work really well for this to make these unique looking little branches for dad. But this is also a creative way to do it too. And it's pretty fun. I mean, I think no matter what age we're at, we all enjoy a little finger painting, so. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go around and you're gonna fill it in, <clears throat> like so, until you get to a design that you totally like. And then after it dries a little bit, if you want to go on top and add in some more color to give it a different effect, you totally could do that as well. Look, and then you can take a brush after if you'd like and go over in certain areas. Awesome. And then you have a very unique, beautiful family tree to give to dad for Father's Day. Thank you guys for joining in my little tutorial again this week. Next week is my last tutorial that I'll be doing, uh, and I believe it is the 28th of June. And we're going to be doing some tie-dyed uh, tissue paper. So I hope to see you guys then, and enjoy the rest of your weekend, and thanks for coming out. Bye!